So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clown. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising, being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! There! I did my best to help those boys. later the attackers were dead and I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing none it was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits was that all of them or did I just hit the rear guard I quickly got my answer they attacked from on high like Apache's off the they would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemies Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to it. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? What happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's Cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Hard ahead of moving target. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking, going up against a gang like this? I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. That 
that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much-needed ammunition. Fat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune evened the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. The old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wild cat. If I fear you, nobody knows. You're mine! Man it up! Where's he going? time for that old man to pay for his sins. I yelled out at the top of my lungs, Clinton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a gallon gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. Wait, you got 
made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the herbs. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. Somebody's coming! So, what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. First, I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. Curly Bill took charge of the cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. wounded his older brother, Virgil. outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Don't 
Killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what pulled me forward. anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earth. That man was all hat and no cap. Hey, got some for him. should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earth. But everybody knew that Curry shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, well, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to